The WA-475-10 is the first model of a new family of Komatsu wheel loaders. Once again, Komatsu has made significant improvements to machine systems for improved safety, high productivity, efficiency, operator information, and convenience. Today we are going to take a detailed look at those enhancements on our Tier 4 final WA-475-10 wheel loader. The WA-475-10 has very new and different work equipment control functionality. It now operates independently from engine RPM input from the accelerator pedal. For the WA-475-10, the work equipment movement is now only controlled by degree of work equipment lever action. The work equipment hardware on this machine has also been optimized to match efficiencies brought along with the new work equipment control system. For example, the Komatsu bucket has been redesigned to increase overall productivity. The bucket bottom sheet radius has been changed to help material flow into the bucket. The side sheets have been profiled to reduce material spillage. In addition, boom lift force has increased 20% compared to previous models. Additionally, the bucket cylinder is a large bore cylinder equivalent in bore size to the WA-470-8 logging cylinder. During the pre-delivery inspection, it is always a good idea to set up the bucket level position adjustment on a new machine with its new bucket. The first step is to position your machine on a flat level surface. Next, lower the boom and level the bucket. This may require visual verification by you or a helper. With the key on, engine running, Let's access the user menu and pull up the machine setting and information tab. Using the command selector, scroll to the bucket level position selection in the menu, then push enter. You now have three choices of what to label your current bucket. Today, we will call it bucket A. With A highlighted, tilt the command selector to the right. This movement is labeled detail in the guidance icons. Two menu items are now listed. Highlight bucket level position adjustment and push the enter switch. Follow the on-screen instructions. Since your bucket should already be on the ground and level, push the enter switch. Note that this machine does not require you to raise the boom to its highest position. A window will pop up displaying the result momentarily. The WA-475-10 has another new feature that operators are going to embrace. Pressing the switch mounted in the top of the bucket lever will automatically return the bucket to the level position. And it doesn't matter if the bucket is in the dump or tilt position, it will level from both directions. Work equipment control levers are electronic proportional control or EPC type. For this machine, some of the functionality has changed. For example, the tents are now virtual, meaning no more magnets holding levers. If you raise the boom and dump the bucket, then pull the bucket lever fully backwards and let go, the lever will immediately spring to the whole position, but the bucket will be moving to its level position. Of course, hitting the switch in the top of the bucket lever will now get you the same result. Like other Komatsu wheel loaders, this machine has a feature called remote positioning for the bucket and the boom. However, the switches for making these adjustments are now located on the front right pillar in the cab. Let's adjust the bucket first. Raise the boom and dump the bucket. Level the bucket by one of the two methods described earlier. Now lower the boom just above the ground. Find the new bucket positioner switch on the keypad on the front right pillar. This switch is on the bottom left. You can adjust the bucket angle plus or minus five degrees from your level position. Let's assume you need a negative angle. Using the bucket lever, move the bucket to the dump position very slightly. You can check your angle by pressing the bucket positioner switch quickly one time, and your reading will momentarily display and the buzzer beeps twice. If you are happy with the position, you are finished. If you need more or less angle, move the bucket with the bucket lever and push the bucket positioner switch again. If you want to clear the setting and have the bucket return to the zero position, push and hold the bucket positioner switch for longer than one second. The buzzer sounds one long beep, indicating remote positioning has been cleared. Now let's operate the remote boom positioner. The WA-475-10 has a new boom positioner switch located on the front right pillar. This new switch has green LED lights that let the operator know if a kickout position has been set or not. The boom can be set up with a raised position and a lower position. We'll set up the raised position first. Set the boom to a desired raised position above horizontal and return the boom lever to the hold position. Now momentarily push the boom position or switch. The buzzer should beep twice, and the LED next to the line above the bucket should light up. To test the setting, lower the boom to the ground. 
pull the boom lever into the raised detent and release the lever. Because the boom lever now has virtual detents, the boom lever will spring back to the hold position, but the boom will raise and stop at the desired height. To clear a raised position, raise the boom above horizontal, then push and hold the button positioner switch. The buzzer should make one long beep, and the green LED next to the top line will turn off. To set the lower remote positioner, lower the boom to a position below horizontal, but above the ground surface level. Return the boom lever to hold. Momentarily push the boom positioner switch. The buzzer should beep twice, and the green LED should light up next to the bottom line. To test the lower remote position, first make sure the area around the machine is completely clear of personnel and equipment. Raise the boom above the horizontal position. Now firmly push the boom lever all the way forward into the virtual float detent. The boom lever will spring back into the hole position. Gravity will cause the boom to lower very rapidly, and it will stop short of hitting the ground. Do not try this movement with any material in the bucket. You can clear the lower remote positioner by placing the boom below horizontal. Push and hold the boom positioner switch until one long beep is sounded and the green LED turns off next to the lower line. Because of the new enhancements to the WA475-10 work equipment, operator setup parameters are very important. For example, the traction control has four levels of adjustment. Levels 1, 2, 3, and max. For most underfoot conditions, traction level 2 or 3 is sufficient. For V-loading, set the travel speed control dial at 1, and set the work equipment speed level to slow or medium. If the V-loading space is very tight, then use fast speed. The work equipment speed is adjusted in the user menu, machine setting, and information tab. Again, for V-loading, turn ECSS to off using the new ECSS switch on the front right column keypad, or set to a higher ground speed than the default in the operator mode side of the monitor. Another great feature that relates to the new transmission is the auto heel holding function. When stockpiling or hopper loading on a steep grade, the machine will not roll backwards when the transmission is in the forward direction. Auto digging is included on the WA475-10. Auto digging is selected from the front right column keypad. When auto digging is on, a green LED is lit. The machine conditions required for auto digging to start include the bucket is within 11.8 inches of the ground. Machine is in forward direction. Ground speed above 2.5 miles per hour. And no brake application. The boom will raise and the bucket will tilt automatically. When the boom reaches negative 20 degrees boom angle, the auto digging is completed. Any boom or bucket lever position or brake application will stop auto digging at the current position. Thank you for taking some time to learn about Komatsu's WA475-10 wheel loader. Please reach out to your local Komatsu distributor for more information on this exciting new model.